Germany, as in the rest of the world, bees pollinate about 80% of all fruit, vegetables and flowers. But, like the rest of the world, bee numbers are in decline. Mites, disease and the use of pesticides have almost had their numbers. I'm Sinead O'Shea and I'm in Berlin to meet some people who have decided to take some action. Come on, I'll show my, you my bees. Are these bees going to sting me? I hope not. Um, <laughs> in Berlin, we are breeding the bees for calmness. I, I kind of want to test that theory because it sounds amazing. <laughs> bee lover Dr. Mark Kofink has hives on six roofs around the city. The bees pollinate all the higher plants like uh, fruit trees or vegetables. So without bees, you only get potatoes. With the bees, you get the carrots and the aubergines and the tomatoes. Berlin is a very green capital. We have a lot of parks, a lot of trees. Surprisingly, this varied plant life together with their milder climates means that cities can actually offer better habitats for bees in the countryside, where monoculture farming is bad news for bees' health. So there are the hives at the back. Yes. Okay, it's a lot of them. <laughs> yes. A new generation of enthusiasts, like Nicole, one of the city's 570 beekeepers, are discovering just how well bees can thrive in urban areas. Yeah, it's amazing. They're just all crawling all over. Yes. Today. Bees are low maintenance. They need just a couple of hours of attention a week. And for centuries, their products have been celebrated for their health benefits. Bees are collecting the sap from the trees and um, bring it in their hive. It's a um, natural antibiotic. So it would protect them from diseases, would it? Yes. The humans too. <laughs> so, good night. Sleep well. <laughs> At the iconic Berlin Cathedral, biologist Corina Hulzer tends to its new rooftop residence. It's part of a project called Berlin Sumt, or Berlin is Buzzing, which aims to promote beekeeping by setting up hives on the roofs of famous buildings. This is pretty amazing to find some beehives on top of this amazing building. What is the purpose of this? It's a sign. Um, to all of the Berlin people, um, bees are important to us. Bees not so happy these days, and uh, we all can do something about it. Berlin is one of many cities worldwide experiencing a beekeeping renaissance, as more urbanites seek to reconnect with nature and produce their own food. The classic honey of Berlin is actually the, the lint, and it tastes very, very um, strong. I mean, it's a bit like Berlin in the summer, it's very intense. The date actually tells you what's in the honey, so which flower, which nectar. I'm a beekeeper for five years, and um, I've got these eight colonies in Kreuzberg on the roof. Maybe next year I can even have um, double. <laughs> Urban hives produce around 200 euros worth of honey per season. But their contribution to the long-term well-being of our bees could be priceless.